hello, Dr. B here. Today I wanted to share with you guys because I know during coaching a lot of people have been asking how do you get rid of people you don't want or people who just, not that you don't want them, I'm not trying to be mean, but sometimes some people are so negative that everything they say, everything they do around you just drain everything in you. There's nothing left once they stop by. So I posted this today and um, you know, it kind of caught a lot of attention and some people could relate to it. I'll just read it to you. It's imperative to cultivate healthy relationships in your environment to ensure that you stay healthy. You can eat healthy all you want, but if you don't have a well-balanced spiritual life and healthy relationships, creating even further caring and nurturing connections, it will be very challenging to move forward with a fully healthy life. So navigate away from negative relationships and launch a healthy, a healthier and new attitude as the new year is getting closer. So practically this is not saying to run away from everyone who want to talk to you or who want to be honest with you. But I'm just saying that you know the people that are draining you and if you don't start putting boundaries and making sure that these people don't continue to drain your energy, you're going to end up at the hospital. Trust me when I tell you. I've been there. When you play so nice and you're trying not to hurt people's feelings, but people are not afraid to hurt your feelings. I'm not saying to become a cold, careless person as they are, but I'm just saying you need to start putting some orders in your life. You know, you know already the people that are going to drain your energy, so it's either you could put, you could set some more um, boundaries, some more structured boundaries that will limit their access to you. Or if you're not able to do that, you may have to cut them loose at least for a while so they can understand your value. People who do not respect you, who don't understand when you're doing something positive and trying to move forward, trying to move to do bigger things. And every time you make a step forward, they pull you down 10, ten steps back. It could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be anybody. It could even be the person you call best friend. But if someone is not willing to compromise that little bit, just to make sure to put a smile on your face, maybe you decide. Is this person really um, worth it? Is this person care about you? Are they caring about you as much as you're caring about them? So, again, it's your life. You're the master of it. You just got to make sure to keep it healthy, keep it steady, keep it clean enough so you could be happy. I think that's the goal of most people. So, it's back to me. Um, just stopping by to drop a little bit of knowledge. Hopefully it was helpful. And if anything else, just hit me up. Take care. Video is not my thing. So, bye.